If you are interested in lawn stripes, love lawn stripes, interested in the Toro striping kit, any of the above, then this video is for you. I'm going to introduce you to the Toro 22 inch striping kit. I ordered it on Amazon, it came quickly, it's very easy to install. So let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at what I got when I ordered the kit. Inside we have our brackets. Metal brackets. Striping system booklet and your uh, how to safety instructions. The first thing you're going to want to do is locate and remove this red bolt. You can use a ratchet or a screwdriver, just be careful not to strip that bolt. Next, you're going to grab a funnel and some very dry sand fill this with about 20 pounds worth of sand. If it's not dry, it clumps and it's really hard to fill. Putting together the brackets for this is very straightforward. You need a screwdriver, it might take you five minutes at the very most. Unfortunately for me, my handles on my lawnmower are not round, rectangular. So I had to come up with a workaround to have it fit my mower. So this is my workaround. I purchased the steel plate that you see here on Amazon. The U-shaped fastener, nut and bolt as well for two of them, including, including the fastener, nuts and bolts. I believe I paid $25. This gives you an idea of what it looks like once it's installed. Of course, yours is going to probably look different than mine because you probably didn't have to have a workaround. Fortunately, I've been talking with Striper Steve from The Striper, and he tells me, they're the manufacturer, by the way, of, of the Toro striping kit. He tells me that they have a new bracket coming out that will be released in the future that will allow it to work with Ryobi mowers and the Ego as well. Install my battery here. Check to make sure it's got power. I'll attach, I'll attach the striping kit to the back of my mower. And let's get striping. Few different camera angles for you so you can see what it what it looks like as I'm as I'm going a few different perspectives the tool itself is quite easy to use and maneuvers maneuvers very easily and striping I start with one constant first. In this case, I use the I use the curb, and then from there, I'm just tracing my wheel lines from my previous cut.
can see the, the the striper here is bouncing around a little bit. Well, that's that's an issue with my with my workaround. If I had a if I had been using this with a with a Toro mower, you would be noticing the bracket sitting tight and not bouncing around. Any circular handle mower, really. So enough from me. In the next couple of minutes, you can watch the Toro striping kit in action. Here's a look at a different striping pattern. This one is from a cut that I did five days after the previous one in this video. And that's it. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. If you wouldn't mind, take a second to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.